Hey everybody, Alex Markley here, and uh, you're watching my video blog. <laughs> so today, I'm working on a uh, nifty little project. Uh, my Tesla has the ability to record dash cam videos directly to a USB stick. And uh, not only dash cam videos, but also with sentry mode, it has the ability to record if somebody walks up to your car and starts tampering with it. So I thought it would be kind of cool to plug a computer in where the USB stick goes and take those videos and automatically do things uh, with them, like sort through them, back them up to the cloud, and so on. Uh, so, so let's take a look. I'm actually really excited about this right now. My, uh, my Raspberry Pi is functioning as the drive for my dash cam, which you can see is recording right now. Um, just on autopilot right now, which is my favorite thing in the world. Uh, that's a lie, my kids are my favorite thing. Okay, so these are the main components that we're gonna use for this project. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W, and uh, I've got a small heatsink connected to it because I expect it to be in a hot car. Uh, you can tell it's the Zero W because it has this Wi-Fi antenna right on the circuit board, which you may or may not be able to see. But the main advantage of the, uh, the Zero W is that it has a network connection. So when it's powered up, even if I'm using the USB port for other things, I can still be connected to a Wi-Fi network. The main reason why using a Zero is because the USB port has a nifty trick that it can do. You can basically reverse the direction of the USB port. So instead of connecting it uh, to a device like a keyboard or a mouse or a uh, USB stick, you can actually reverse the direction. So the Zero W will pretend to be a device. So you, it can actually emulate a USB stick, which is, um, which is pretty cool. So since we're going to be emulating a USB stick, I have a rather large SD card here. It's a 128 gigabyte uh, SD card. And that has the operating system, but it also has a very large partition on it for the car to use to record sentry mode videos onto. So, um, so that's, that's pretty cool to start with. We've basically got the USB port is gonna be plugged into the car. The car will think the Raspberry Pi is a USB stick and it will write videos to the SD card. Um, the thing is when the car is done, it will shut down and yank power out of this USB port, which will crash the Raspberry Pi. So that's why I have this. Um, this is a, an uninterruptible power source uh, or UPS for the Raspberry Pi called a Pi Juice, which I think is, is just incredibly cool. It actually has its own microprocessor and its own programming. But basically what that does is um, it, puts, it, it puts the powering up and powering down of the Raspberry Pi into the hands of programming instead of putting it into the hands of whatever the car decides to do. So I can actually script the Pi to start up and, and shut down whenever I want. So it just plugs in like this, and then the battery goes on again, just like this. And then when I hit this button, it will start the Pi booting, which you can tell by this LED right there. That's the activity light, so you can see the Pi is booting. And so I can literally SSH right into this guy. I can log into this guy, um, already and I, it's it doesn't have to be plugged into anything just sitting right here it is already ready uh, for me to connect to it so uh, so let's take a look at some other stuff um, I actually have to build a cable for this and uh, and we'll go from there
Okay, so the idea with this cable is that I can uh, connect a uh, can connect it to my car, and we will have power, and we'll have data, but um, but the power and the data are not uh, going to the same port because I want to power the Pi Juice here, and I want to connect to the uh, the Pi's um, data USB port with this. So let's plug this in. And I expect, I expect two things to happen. Um, as soon as I plug it in. Okay, now notice this light flashing. That indicates that it is charging. I hit display status. We get battery charging and power input present. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually very excited to see that. It also looks to me like so we have our smart block file system going on here. On smart block. Okay, so we have some files. So I'm pretty pretty close to being able to test this. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, it is successfully recording dash cam video. So uh, I'm gonna run around the block here real quick and capture some dash cam videos and see, uh, see what they look like. Here we are for final assembly. Uh, gonna gonna put the thing together um, so that I can just set it up in the car, and um, I can work on some of the programming later, uh, just to to enhance the functionality and, and make it do things that I want it to be able to do. This uh, this case here, this is actually one of the official Raspberry Pi cases for an older generation of Raspberry Pi. Um, and, uh, and, and I have a ton of these cases, which I, I didn't really care about cutting up. I, I actually had a project box I was gonna try to use to fit this in, but it ended up being um, too wide with the orientation that like the cable has to come in this way. So, um, so what I ended up doing is um, cutting up this case a little bit to sort of hack it up and make it fit. Um, it does not have to be pretty. It's, it's not gonna be visible because it's gonna be sitting sort of inside the car, inside the console, so, um, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm gonna have to plug this in first, so this will go in here. And this one will go in here. So those will just go right in there. Kind of sticking out the side. It's right there, yep. Um, so, that's, it's actually fairly sturdy, uh, and I know it looks kind of like a, a mess, but it's it's actually fairly sturdy. Um, for the basics, this is this is going to be this is going to be great. All right, so there it is. Uh, it's been working out really well. That's the final version of the hardware. So more programming to do later, but uh, it's definitely working out great. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, definitely like and subscribe because there's more on the way, and we'll catch you next time.